Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend reading from August 28th to the 30th. This is for my Cappies Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Capricorn, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, the information can be found in the description box below. All right. So, Cappies, I'm going to get a channeled message for you in just one moment. I have one more card, please. Bear with me. With my new microphone here, I'm trying to figure out the best way to use it. I gotta play with it this weekend, Capricorn. Alright, maybe that's better. Okay. They say to talk into the side of it, so. Alright. At the bottom of the deck, we have Justice Card. So that's Libra energy. You have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Capricorn. You have the Page of Cups, which is uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You have Temperance, Sagittarius energy, and the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Let's get this message from Spirit and see what they have for you this weekend, Capricorn. Deliberate creation. That's what they're saying. They actually they actually showed me Abraham Hicks. Okay. They're wanting you to be aware of what you're creating. Seek to focus more deliberately. Okay? Pay attention to where your mind's going off to. Right? Because what we think about, we bring about. So they're wanting you to just um, have more awareness, right? Okay. Thank you. All right, Capricorn. So... We have the Untold Messages of the Heart deck once again by Aqua Moonlight. Love this deck. Absolutely in love with this deck. So we're going to see what's going on here first, and then we're going to get some messages here for you. So Capricorn, there's an apology. Either Now, energy goes both ways. So either you're coming in to give an apology to somebody, it could be a Taurus, or a Taurus is coming towards you for an apology. There is healing that needs to happen. I do feel this is past, but it can be just a love offer of the present, right? The Page of Cups is usually an apology, but can be a love offer, right? Either Sometimes it can be an immature love offer, but sometimes it can mean... Um, somebody's younger than you, or it can also mean a very endearing love offer, right? So, and with the Hierophant here, I feel like this is an offer of commitment. The Hierophant is about commitment. doesn't have to be a Taurus, but this is Taurus, obviously. It can just mean that you are offering a commitment to somebody. But there is healing. There is embracing of change that needs to occur with this temperance card of Sagittarius. So you're wanting to invest time and energy in this person. You're willing to be patient. I feel like you are patient, Capricorn. Let's clarify what is this Page of Cups about? 
Yeah, this is a love offer. This is a passionate love offer. This is a new beginning in love, Capricorn. Ooh, okay. So mm, I'm feeling for those of you where this is somebody from the past that there was somebody either they betrayed you, you betrayed them, both of you betrayed each other, but the Ten of Swords, there was definitely an ending nonetheless, whatever happened. Hence the apology here. What happened? King of Pentacles. Taurus again could be Virgo Capricorn. I feel like there was an ending of stability. I feel like there was an opportunity that was missed here. Tell me about this apology more. Why? Oh, or this love offer. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on with this love offer? Yeah, somebody's anxious about this. Somebody, whoever's making this offer slash apology slash both um, is very nervous and anxious about stepping to this individual. Now, the Ten of Swords, if this is not a past um, person, this can mean that somebody is, is ending something, right? It's like finally letting something go, I'm feeling, and wanting stability and taking the opportunity to have stability, hence the offer. Tell me about temperance. Like I said, this can go either way. This can be coming towards you. Okay, temperance. The moon. Whoever is coming forward with this, this is like hidden energies. This is hidden feelings. Ooh, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Yeah, there's a desire to communicate here, a desire for truth. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Yeah, three of swords and two of pentacles yeah from a past perspective whatever happened in this relationship for those of you where this is a past person there was a third party situation definitely somebody was juggling definitely so i feel this anxiety may be about whoever's the person that's receiving this offer okay sorry the person that's giving this offer is worried about the one receiving it coming out with this energy like, okay, what do you have to say for yourself, right? Because the person giving the apology, I feel, is the one with the third party or that had the third party. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Well, these messages should be interesting on this one, Capricorn. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, Two of Swords. Somebody's not listening to their intuition. And there you are. It's like you may have blocked off your heart chakra here because I feel that this is you not listening to your intuition, not wanting to see something. Why is it too? The fool. You're wanting to take a leap of faith. But I feel like you may be afraid that this relationship is toxic. It may have been toxic in the past. Clarify this one more time. Why? Ah. Somebody doesn't want to see that this is their destiny here. This is the reason for this two of swords. Okay. Let's 
Somebody may also be leaping without looking. That's possible. Why is the devil here? 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 There is a strong, strong attraction between you and this individual. A strong sexual um, connection here. Very much so. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we have the Hermit Energy. So somebody's done a lot of reflection. I feel it's the person giving this love offer or an apology or both. You'll know where you stand, Capricorn. All right, so let's get into these messages. Right. My readings are so long now. I'm like literally up until 6 in the morning doing these readings and then trying to get all this set up. Technology, Mon. Okay. So this person, okay, that... All right, is this the person giving the apology? Okay, the person giving the apology slash love offer. What they want to say is ego. It's easier to block everything out right now. I'd rather ignore my emotions. Codependency, I need you. That's that devil energy. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. What is this other person, what do they want to say to Capricorn? What do they want to say to Capricorn? What does this person want to say to Capricorn? What does this person want to say to Capricorn? Forbidden. Even though we shouldn't, I still want you. That's that devil energy again. This is a strong connection. All right, what else do they want to say to Capricorn? Jealousy. I feel like you've moved on without me, and that's difficult for me to see. I won't stay for very long. I'm sorry. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Lessons. I didn't know what I had until you were gone. Lesson learned. Thoughts. I've been in my head about you constantly. So they've been thinking about you, Capricorn. Broken. The damage has already been done. <clears throat> and I don't know how to pick up the pieces. <clears throat> Throat chakra. Okay. If this person could only say one thing to you, Capricorn, what would that be? I miss you. Memory. I miss you. That's what they would say. And for cross watchers, what does Capricorn have to say to you? What does Capricorn want to say to you? Within a year or more. Wow, Capricorn. All right. What else do they want to say to you? Gesture. I am going to some. Uh, sorry. I am going to come sweep you away. Are you going to have to wait a year or more, Chorus Watcher? I don't know. Maybe it's referring to something else. You'd know best. Influences. I'm distracted right now. Respect. You deserve the best, and I respect you. I want to do the right thing. Selfish. I love the way you make me feel, but I can't give you the same in return. Okay, so Capricorn, if you could only say one thing to this individual, what would it be? What would it be if you could say one thing? If you only had one thing to say. Oops. Planning. I know that I want you in my future. I am working on making the proper plans. Well, isn't that just a Capricorn, right? 
And at the bottom of the deck, this is shared energy between you two. Battle. I tried my best to move on, but I can't seem to let you go. So neither one of you can let each other go, Capricorn. Okay, and that's the shared energy. So I hope that helps, Cappies. I hope you enjoy the new deck. I love it. Uh, please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information is in the description box below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, hit that notification bell. Make sure that you get notified every time I upload a video. Have a fantastic weekend, Cappies, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.